Hello, I'm John Metzer of Metzer Farms, and today we're going to show you how to sex baby ducks and geese. You ask, well, why does somebody want to know how to sex baby ducks and geese? Oftentimes people are just curious. They go to a feed store and they buy them and they don't know what sexes they have. This will be an easy way for you to determine the sex with a little bit of practice. Sometimes people will raise, if they're raising large numbers of birds, the males and females separately, or if they're raising a flock that's going to be laying eggs the next year, they don't want too many males, they'd rather get rid of them early. So there's various reasons for sexing birds. Uh, and another point is that for sexing, you should do it within the first couple days. After that point, it becomes much more difficult to sex. And we'll have other videos on how to sex adult birds. Today we're just going to talk about sexing the day-old birds. And there's two different ways of sexing day-old birds. There's either by down color or by vent sexing. We'll show you both ways. Uh, down color is not as uh, definitive. Uh, there's a little bit of an issue there. Sometimes you can't tell by down color on some birds. Vent sexing, once you can do it correctly, is a much better method of sexing the birds. Uh, once you see that penis pop out, it, you know it's a male. So we'll show you this information and uh, I hope you learn how to sex baby ducks and geese. These are male endings, and in general, they're lighter in color than the females. The females are either dark compared to the males, or they're almost all gray. But it's, it's not always a black and white issue, because sometimes you'll have some fairly dark males and some fairly light female. So this is a female and this is a male. So they are very similar other than this one is a little bit darker. But in general, the females of the Emdens, Sebastopol, and Romans are darker than the males. Okay, these are Golden 300 males and any of the Golden 300s have black on them in some way. Either black on the head and the tail, they're solid black with a little bit on the wing, they might have a little bit on the chest, but these all have different amounts of black on them. These are some more, again, they're black. You have some that almost look like a, a ruin, but they're not, but again, they're black. The females, have shades of brown. Again, there's no, see the difference? Male, these are females. You have some that almost look like a khaki Campbell, but they'll invariably have some yellow on them somewhere that shows that they're not a pure khaki Campbell. A lot of them have stripes by the eyes, like a ruin, but again, these are male, these are female. Before we start um, and show you the vent sexing, I just want to give you a little bit of information up front. If, if this is the, the vent, let's say, of the, the duckling or gosling, and, and you're, you're, the penis is down here, um, and, and you don't see it, obviously. When you're vent sexing, and we'll show you how to do this, like I said, but get the concept that you're not trying to press here to, to pop it out. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you're trying to expose it. You're trying to pull this skin down so the penis pops out. Um, you, you can sex with absolutely no pressure from down below. It's more of an exposure process than a forcing out process. So I just wanted to show you this before we went in and looked at the birds. Okay, for vent sexing, um, number one, you need probably the right kind of equipment. Now, when I started sexing 30 years ago, I could stand right here and sex them. But because of the attributes of older age, now I need glasses, now I need light, now I need a magnifying glass. So depending on your age and the quality of your eyes, you may or may not need this. But um, it does make it easier over time if you're sexing quite a few. If you're not, it's no big deal have somebody hold a magnifying glass for you. Um, now, some of you may have watched um, Dirtiest Jobs by Mike Rowe. 
uh, and he did sexing very similar to this at McMurray Hatchery a couple years ago. Now, the difference with chickens and turkeys and waterfowl is that I don't know how to do chickens and turkeys. I think that's a little bit more difficult to do, that it's a bit harder to differentiate male and female. With ducks, it's pretty easy. As long as you have exposed the penis, it's a male. And if nothing pops out, it's a female. The problem is for you to learn how to uh, expose the penis because if nothing pops out does that mean it's a female or is that a male you haven't done correctly um, so it takes time when I was first taught I came home and I sexed and I did 500 ducks and 400 of them were females no uh, there was a hundred males that I knew of and then there was probably another 150 males in that 400 that I hadn't sexed right so it just takes time to learn how but once you start getting about 50% of the birds you're sexing as male, then you're pretty sure you're doing it right. Okay, so um, the holding the birds, there's a variety of ways of holding the birds. Uh, I'll show you the way I do it, and then I'll have Juan come in, and he's our fastest sexer, and he holds, he holds it completely differently. Uh, so I'll just show you because I know how to do it my way. When you pick the bird up, we have it like this. They're under no stress. I just have it between these two fingers. You lift it up so you see the vent, and then you're exposing with two fingers. We're pulling the tail back with this finger. These two fingers are pulling apart. And this one's sort of stability. As you can see, Juan picks up the bird completely differently, whereas I sex it with its stomach toward me and I'm pushing the tail away. He picks it up so its back is toward him and he peels the tail toward him so that he can expose the vent. Either way works, so I don't think there's an advantage one way or the other, whatever is more comfortable for you. This is a female. Female. Male. This is a male. Right in the middle there, the white. Thank you very much for watching our video on sexing ducklings and goslings. I hope you've learned something from that. As I said earlier, it just takes practice. Uh, keep at it and you will pick it up. It's not that difficult, it just takes a little time. If you have any other questions concerning waterfowl, please visit our website at www.metzerfarms.com and we will be having future videos. We'll try to get those out to answer those questions you might have. But for now, we better get these guys on the road.